ABCs of Attraction. My name is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. How are you doing today? I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, tell us, tell our audience a little about yourself, Sarah. Uh, well, I'm not from L.A. originally. I'm from the Midwest, Indiana, and I came out here to pursue acting and modeling. Oh, so you're a Midwest girl. I am. Uh, okay. <laughs> very nice. Very, like, wholesome. I'd like to think so. Okay. I've still retained the wholesomeness since being out here. <laughs> okay. Very cool. Now, um, you guys hit on you, I'm, I'm sure, like back in the Midwest and out in L.A. Well, definitely a lot more aggressive since I've been in L.A. Um, I guess, I don't know that people in Indiana are more polite, but maybe they're a little more reserved. <laughs> okay. And how do they, how do they approach you? Um, usually, it depends where I'm at, uh, but I've been hit on in the grocery store before, um, usually at night a lot more than during the day. Okay. How many times at night do you guys, do you guys approach you? Uh, night, I guess depending on where I'm at and who I'm with, maybe anywhere between four to five or six times I'll be approached. Okay, alright, very cool. Now, <clears throat> what, what kind of guy makes you laugh? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, I'm, I laugh pretty easily, I'm, and I'm kind of nice. Uh, so, I guess a confident guy, a guy with a really great smile, um, a guy with a funny approach. Sometimes a guy that even makes fun of me will make me laugh and open a conversation. Okay. What, what do you consider sexy in a guy? A uh, great smile, as I mentioned before, um, nice teeth, and I like tall guys, but that's probably because I'm really tall. <laughs> oh, how tall are you? I'm 5'9". Five 5'9". Nine. Five nine. And with hills? 5'11 or 6 feet. <laughs> Ooh, wow, you are, yes. you are. So what kind of, what do you look for physically in a guy? I mean, beyond confidence, beyond all this kind of stuff. Sure. Um, it's great if a guy has the great smile and also um, if he's well-dressed and has good skin. Um, I don't really have a preference for a certain race, probably mostly more, I've dated more Caucasian just because of where I grew up, but um, I'm not too picky, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Any old guy will do. Any old guy will do. <laughs> no, no, I'll let, like, I'll, I'll, I'll give a guy a chance, you know, Okay. if he's not a jerk. <laughs> what personality traits do you look for specifically in a guy? Uh, a guy who's assertive, but not aggressive. Um, a guy that's funny, uh, relaxed, um, a guy who has his, I don't want to say a bad word, but the, a guy who has it together. He has his life <laughs> together. You know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you don't want a diamond in the rough. You don't want like a, right. a renovation project. If I project. have to improve a guy, it's, that's a lot of work and, and if you have to change a guy that much so you can hang out with him, it's, you know. So I imagine when you're out during the day or when you're out at the clubs or bars mm -hmm. at night and a guy approaches you, you give out your number, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that look? I'm, I have a hard time, not so much now, but at first um, I really have a hard time like saying no, I don't, like, you can't have my number because I just don't want to be mean because it's easy to just not answer the phone. And that's mean. I know it's probably meaner in the long run to... To give a guy hope, but... Why is it that girls, why do you believe girls do that? They'll give up the number, but have no intention of picking up when he calls. What do you believe that... Uh, a lot, for a lot of girls, it's validating to have a guy ask for the number, and, and I guess if they're not a very nice girl, they'll just they'll say, oh, well, I'll give him my number, I won't, I won't answer the phone, like, just, he's not cute enough or, or funny enough. So I guess it gives them validation. Cool, cool. Now, what's one sure sign that you, Sarah, you're the one hitting on the guy? Oh, God. you hit on guys? <laughs> um, not too often. Um, but I guess if I, the few times I have approached a guy, I'll maybe I, if I'm flirting, I like touch his shoulder or or lean in a little. I probably play with my hair unintentionally. <laughs> And you laugh at his stupid joke. Oh yeah, oh, it's so funny. <laughs> now, do you do you do you approach guys? Do you open them? Not usually. No. Not usually. Okay. That that Midwest sensibility. Right. <laughs> okay. uh, what's one example of a true cold approach that someone did upon you? Uh, one guy came up and he approached from the front, um, so there was no turning. He just came up to the front and he's like, "Hey, you have a really great outfit on. You should take that as a compliment because I'm a designer." And it sounded really arrogant at first, but 
A, I thought he was a really attractive guy, and so I gave him a chance to keep talking, and we just kind of had like a sarcastic banter back and forth, but then it turned into like a conversation, and I know I do have, I remember he just kept talking, like he just kept saying, you know, just talking, keeping the conversation open. So basically he opened you with kind of like a, a playful, direct yeah. opener, yeah. and then he, he he took control of the conversation. Right, and he was like, oh, I liked your necklace, and he like touched my necklace, and uh, we just, you know, flirting and like little touches here and there. Are you sure he wasn't a pua? <laughs> I was sure. I'm very sure. <laughs> okay, all right. What did you think of Pickup before you introduced the ABCs? Well, I had seen the show, The Pickup Artist with Mystery, and... What did you think? I thought it was really a load of of silliness. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't think it was. I didn't think it would really work. Like I thought it was just all set up for this show, and and that it wasn't really this huge underground community that it is. Alright, so you thought the show was was faked. What did you think of mystery? <sighs> really, like I would love the opportunity to meet him and speak with him because I just don't see it. I don't see the appeal. Sorry, mystery, if you're watching this. Now, Sarah, you're, you actually help out in our ABCs programs as one of our, our Supergirls yes. or Wing Girls. <laughs> what do you think of, of our little ABCs community? I, I really like the ABCs community um, because they incorporate not only how you should physically approach, but they build up your mental image and your confidence so you can go out there with the tools that you need to approach a girl and, and just deliver it with confidence with maybe you'll get rejected, maybe you'll get what you want. Um, I think it's good. It helps really shy guys that are possibly never going to find a girl because they simply can't speak to a girl, you know? So it's giving them the tools to find who they want for whatever reason. <laughs> so you see a lot of growth. Yes, a lot of growth. All right. Now, what do you think of the, the Kino turn? The Kino the, the, turn, the concept, yes. The concept of actually touching a woman you know, while you're speaking or even before you speak. Now, to a lot of guys, that's considered like alien. That's that's right. like that's too abrupt. It's like, oh no, I've I've been taught that it's it's rude to touch a girl. It can be too abrupt, but if it's done correctly and in the right situation, it can be a really useful tool to opening a girl. Um, you just can't like jerk a girl around, and you can't also just kind of like like poke at her like like she's an elevator button. <laughs> so. What do you think of the, the walk of Khan? Well, you definitely see him coming, <laughs> unless they're approaching from behind, which it, even doing that walk and the girl can't see you, it's still giving you, the man, like a, a confidence and a willingness to follow through with the opener. Can you say the walk of Khan with me? Oh, <laughs> please don't make me do it. <laughs> Sorry, that's okay, that's okay. Um, now, how do you think a guy should effectively approach you at night? Um, well, usually at night you're, you don't really want to try to approach a girl like on the street at night because she'll think you're going to attack her. Um, so of course it's probably reserved for like the clubs or the bars or a gathering. Um, so a good approach at night would just be walking up with confidence. Um, if you do a keynote turn, doing it with the right amount of pressure and just following through with the plan that you have in your head. If you're really shy and, and not good at, at pickup yet, you need to have a plan. You know, you can't just fly by night <laughs> with it. Now, if they're at a bar or a club, it's, pr it's pretty loud. It's so loud. You need to, okay, it's not only the pressure, but you have to project. You have to be assertive. And if they're like, what, what? Then you're obviously not doing something right. You know, get closer. Maybe you don't want to scream in the air, but, but you need to really know what you're about. Now, what about the silencer? Oh, the silencer? Uh, I think that can be really effective. Um, you know, if it's really, really loud and, and the girl's like, la, 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 and you go, oh, what? What? Like, and then it gives you ability to get closer to her and like talk in each other's ears and like your face can be really close.